man, I am excited for today's video. We're gonna do something with a loud plane going past. What in the Sam hell is it about this house with the friggin' noise? Anyway, um, I'll do the vroom vroom and come back and let Amelia Earhart keep going. So today we're doing something I'm really excited about. Um, you guys have heard me say this before, but so many viewers out there have become just good friends uh, that I've never been in the same room with, but they're pals. And if I forget you, I'm just naming off a few. If I forget you, I, it, it it's not, doesn't mean anything. Just he's a few I can think of. So like Arch, I talk to all the time. Eric brought me stuff for my bike the other day. Uh, Robbie and I chat every day. Whiskey Wolf doesn't miss a, miss a premiere. I mean, we have so many great subscribers out there. Uh, another good one is Belly Slide. Belly Slide's a pal. We email all the time. As a matter of fact, he sent me some liquor before for the live stream, so he's gotten me drunk, which is a quick way to my heart. Anyway, um, so Belly Slide's been out of the country for a while, and he's coming home. Um, and he had a bike where he was, and he just sold it. So he's in the market. And he's, a, he's like me, he knows exactly what he wants. <laughs> he wants... Um, a gunship gray, the funny thing is I found out it's called gunship, I always called it battleship gray, a gunship gray CVO Road Glide. Uh, you guys will know the color I'm talking about, it's, it's gray. <laughs> it's gloss, but there's no metal flake to it, it's gray, it's battleship gray. Very cool bike, kind of hard to find, um, but he found one and he sent me a link to it saying, what do you think? And I look and I just happened to notice it's, not, it's 20 minutes from my house, so I said, I'll go, let me go look at this thing for you and I'll take a peek at it and see if I can find anything wrong with it. And it started this whole topic in my head about looking at a used bike because I bought a lot of bikes, right, over the years. And I'm sure a bunch of you have too. So it'll be good, you know, comment stuff down below to talk about this. But we're gonna go take a look at this bike at hilariously a super high-end dealership here in West Palm that is way above my pay grade. So from what I can see from the pictures, it's probably gonna be parked next to like Lambos and stuff, they may not let me in. <laughs> but we're gonna go visit uh, a dude named Eric at this dealer who has the bike. He is not a bike guy himself, so we're gonna take a look over, and if we can't find anything seriously wrong with it, then Belly Slide's gonna give him a buzz uh, uh, later on this afternoon and see if he can work a deal, should he try to choose to do so. So um, I'm gonna jump in the truck, because I gotta run 9,000 errands for Mrs. Monkey while I'm out. Uh, happy to report that I left the bike on the lift overnight, and uh, it's still there. So that's a good sign, you know. So far, <laughs> just kidding, JNS. There was never a concern. <laughs> I left the bike on the JNS jack last night, and uh, yeah, it's still there. So approved. Anyway, uh, let me jump in. Big Karen. If you didn't know, um, my truck's name is Big Karen uh, for a simple reason. She's huge and white and entitled. <laughs> I don't know why we named her that, but anyway, big Karen. We're gonna jump in the truck and head to this place in West Palm Beach. So there's an issue. <laughs> Here's the bike. 18 CBO, gunship gray. Uh, it has CFR with bone shakers, um, an aftermarket header. I'm not sure what header that is. And it has a cam in it. Got to find out how it was tuned. So the correct seat, you know, uh, and yeah, the orange stitch is correct. Let's uh, let's hear it run. Here we can. Is it key on? Uh, well, if I hit it, it might set the alarm off, which will chirp on us. And no, key's not in it. Yeah. Um. Something's missing. The lower fang fairing, I believe it should be on this bike. So the fairing that comes here and down, and the crash bar is missing. Um, so is that just somebody's deciding to, you know, tweak the bike? You know, um, I don't know. Or. Right there. See where.
Yeah, it's not the end of the world. It just uh, yeah, mine. It's idling at about a thousand RPMs. It's not a problem. Um, I just wanted to see it settle down. It sounds fine. It sounds healthy. No noise from the motor. The thing I like. Uh, the rain sock is here, the manual's here, the tuner is here. It's been tuned with the TTS, which is good. The rear pegs are here. Uh, original dealer stuff, because it's been upgraded to rear floorboards. So, that's cool. Just gotta figure out that lower fang fairing crash bar thing. Um, True dual exhaust. Not sure who pipe they are. Oh. 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 It's being dropped. So we'll get back in the truck and get back on the road and talk for a bit. It's hot down here, so this fan's going, so I apologize if you can't hear, but, uh, oh, it's okay, it's all right. I'm sure they can still hear me a little bit, but they have a bike that's uh, interesting that I just wanted to show if anyone wants it, because I like this thing. I'm gonna remember the Road King Custom. So it's an 05? Yes. 05, 3,500 miles, I think. Yeah. Um, she looks clean. I mean, here's the rare thing on these, these Road King custom bags. This is always broken. I'm two handless. It's always broken, the latches for these bags, and they're not. They work fine. That's, I mean, on both sides. Paint's good. So what makes this a Road King custom, if you're not a Road King fanatic? Uh, turn signals are up here. No passing lamps. This nacelle, this little nano shield. Uh, no trim on the fenders. The chrome wheels. This one's got chrome forks, which is cool. Um, so it's what, twin cam 88, fuel injected, had pegs instead of rear boards. Looks like it's got some old Screaming Eagle mufflers that have some rough tips on them. Other than that, I can't find anything wrong with it. I mean, that's a nice bike. If I had room for it, I'd want it. But yeah, I think he said he's asking around, around 10-ish for it, and you know, that's starting number, but that's a pretty hard to find cool bike. So. That'd be fun to add to somebody's collection out there. So I'll link to their website in the description if anybody want it. Eric's the dude I've been talking to. They also have um, an 05 CVO Fatboy, which is interesting. Looks real clean too. I can't find anything wrong with it. Uh, this guy's got 1,700 miles on it and I think it had beach bars in the factory. I can't remember, but that's a really nice bike. Had that grind, rear coat grind and paint. That's really cool. Unmolested, stock pipes and everything. Really nice bike. And I think the number on that's like 13, I think. So. You said you're asking 13 for this guy? Yeah, 13. So 13. Um, these are real nice. Anybody out there looking for a toy? another bike this would be these would be good ones to add to collections and then uh i'll send all this info to belly slide and he can decide what he wants to do on this guy so we'll talk later you know so it's interesting um filming this in a truck because i'll forget otherwise before i stop and do all my errands for my darling bride um so that bike was owned by a dude that the salesperson, Eric, actually knows. Um, the guy, Eric says the guy likes to buy and sell stuff a lot, so he doesn't keep things very long, etc. That bike is an 18 CVO Rogue Glide, again, the Battleship Gray, Gunship Gray, sorry. <laughs> and um, it's been dropped. It's not been crashed, it's been dropped. Um, 
because if it had been crashed, i.e. laid down hard while under motion, there'd be scrapes under the frame, there'd be scrapes, you know, all over the place. And all I could find was that nick under the uh, right side driver floorboard, uh, super light little nicks along the heat shield on the bottom of the pipe. And I mean like, I don't even know if you can see them if you laid down there, I could just feel some texture. And then that nick on the corner of the bag that had been touched up. Um, it does only have 60 something hundred miles on it. It does already have a cam in it. It does already have exhaust uh, on it, full exhaust system on it. It's already got bars on it. Uh, it's been properly tuned. Uh, it has the tuner, meaning that if it were me, I'd be tempted to take that bike and the tuner um, to a local shop and maybe have it retuned just because I know of a really good tuner down here uh, named Billy. So that would be something I might do. But I think this is a great lesson on what you need to do is you need to feel under that bike. <laughs> Put your hands under it on the frame and the uh, floorboard mounts and see if you can feel any damage to the, uh, to the powder coat. Um, and that I'm th I think is why the crash bar is missing and why it just has the painted uh, oil cooler cover on the front down below. I'm gonna go home and do a little research, but I feel like what happened was the bike was dropped. There were some scratches on the crash bar and the, and the fang fairing, and the owner uh, could definitely afford to fix it, but chose to just change the bike up a little bit, which is why he ditched the crash bar and, and put a painted oil cover on there just to kind of change the look, because it looks kind of cool. I, li I kind of like the way it was done. Uh, but I got to make sure that that had the fang fairing. I'm almost positive. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into that. Uh, other notes that I would add are those other two bikes that were sitting there. I had to walk away, get in the truck, and go step away from the Road King Custom. Step Because, because I really like the Road King Custom. It's a cool bike. They aren't common. And a sea of bikes everywhere these days. Um, you know, you can... What in the hell is going... There's a woman picking up her clothes in the middle of the road. I don't know how her clothes got in the road in front of her car, but something happened. There's some badness. Anyway, um, that Road King Customs cool. It had no miles on it, uh, which means it might need every bit of rubber replaced. Who knows? Also means the valve spring has been compressed for a long time. You know, but um, 16 years old, cool color, cool model, not easy to find. The, the latches on the bags aren't busted, which they always are in those bags. Uh, that's a nice bike. Asking price of 10 and change um, for Florida, for South Florida, is really high. Um, Why well, not really high? You know, for South Florida. Some of you out there are going, what the hell are you talking about? Bikes are cheaper down here um, because we can ride year-round, and there's just, I don't know why, the bikes are a lot cheaper down here by, by 15, 20% sometimes. So he asked me what I thought the real number was in that bike, and I said eight. Um, and he didn't freak out at me, you know? I'm like, I told him, I said, you can buy an 05 Road King, maybe not in this condition, a regular Road King, for like five grand. Down here you can, no problem. A 16-year-old Road King's bring about five grand. Um, so I thought, because that is such a phenomenal example of crazy low miles and be a really desirable model, I think eight would be a good number on it. Um, but I don't know how married he is to 10, 10 grand. But anyway, any of you out there looking for a fun toy, I looked that bike over and she's nice, that, that, that 05 Road King Custom. And I'll put a link to the dealer in the description. And again, the salesman's name's Eric. Uh, other bike they had there was that 05 CVO Fat Boy. You don't see a lot of those. You know, like, it's 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 a little over-the-top styling for my taste, and this is coming from a guy who has a 19 CVO Roguelike, but the fact that they ground the metal and then cleared it, that's interesting. You know, I mean, the bike is unique. It's in phenomenal condition, and I can't remember how many miles were on it. But none. Um, and uh, stock, the bone stock bike. Still had the reflectors on the, on the forks, you know. So... That would be another good toy. He was asking 13 for that. I don't know. Chime in what you guys think that an 05 Screaming Eagle Fat Boy is worth. And then deduct about 10% because of where we are. Uh, I think it's 10 grand. You know? I, I I wouldn't be a buyer at 10 grand just because it's the styling is a little, you know, much for me. But it's personal taste. 
I'd be a buyer, I think, for that Road King Custom at about eight. I just don't have room for the damn thing. So, um, anywho, so belly slide. I hope this is helpful for you. For me, it's not a, a no. You know, it's entirely up to you. It would depend on the number, and we're not going to get into that because that's the man's finances. We ain't talking about that. But uh, it's not a no. But you know, just know that it has been dropped. It's got a nick on the bag. It's got a nick under the, the floorboard mount. But it also has some pluses to it. So you got to kind of figure out what's it worth to you. Um, it is here, so you got that advantage. Uh, if he wanted to buy it, I could throw it in my garage until he can arrange shipping. You know, do something like that. Uh, entirely up to him. So that's it for today. Let me know down below what you think about looking at a used bike. What do you look for? Obviously, I didn't, uh, I didn't ride it. Um, but I did run it and wait for it to get warm and listen for problems and this, that, and the other, and there were none. Uh, perfect world. It should have gone into gear, you know. So if, if it were to be bought and he had me pick it up or something like that, it would definitely be ridden around the block before any money changed hands to make sure that it goes through all the gears. Um, yeah, so that's the stuff I would look for is look for the things they're trying to hide. <laughs> First thing I do is feel the frame rails, you know, down the bottom of the bike. Um, but yeah, so what do you do when you look at a used bike? What are your thoughts, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? And what do you guys think of that Road King Custom? I mean, someone out there needs to buy that thing. Because I'm gonna, if you don't, and I don't, I should not, no. No. <laughs> uh -uh. Anyway, so take care of each other out there. We'll talk soon. Bye. A further note, I was wrong. In 2018, the CVO Road Glide did not have the fang fairing. This is the fang fairing that I was talking about. It comes here and goes down the side and wraps around the oil cooler. Um, in 18, that's just not there. And there's a wrap around paint of the match oil cooler on there. So I was, I was wrong. It's not, it's much less of an issue as it was earlier. So yes, this was obviously scratched. You know what I mean? when it was dropped, and that's why they ditched the crash bar um, completely. And you can order that now, that's a normal, that's not even a CVO part anymore, because the Black Street Glide and Road Glide Special have that same bar on it now, so that's an easy replacement. So yeah, um, it was obviously just dropped on the right side, because there's nicks under the uh, the rear you know, floorboard mount, little bit of scuffing along there, very, very light, and then a nick on the corner here. So, would it be a deal breaker for me? No, again, uh, it all comes down to cost. So, so yeah, I just want to jump in there and say I realized that, yeah, the fang fairing was not on in 2018, so that's not a problem. It's not missing that. But uh, so it's up to belly slide now. Don't forget to mention down below how you look for used bikes, what you look for. Uh, and now I can say take care of each other. We'll talk soon. Bye.